ladies and gentlemen, the DOJ is hiding information, exculpatory evidence from the jury within the indictments. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I have the actual indictments right here. Donald J. Trump, and hit subscribe right now and share this with anyone who thinks he's going to spend a second in prison or jail. This is exculpatory evidence missing from within the indictments. Obviously, they want to go after him and ruin him politically, okay? But you can read any of these indictments, and we'll just look really quickly at the special counsel indictment and also some of the charges in Georgia. But did knowingly combine, conspire, confederate, and agree with, okay, known and unknown to the grand jury to defraud the United States by using dishonesty? What? You don't knowingly, first of all, Donald Trump truly believed that he was treated like Bernie Sanders in the 2016 Democratic primary. I will prove that to you right now. You can look, FEC um, commissioner, trade trainer, cleared of any ethics issues. What were the ethics issues? Well, of course, if you agree with Trump. The, federal, the FEC former commission chair, okay, stated the same claims as Trump. So... Donald J. Trump and a former FEC commission chair and others, by the way, everyone indicted in Georgia, for example, believed wholeheartedly that 2020 was full of bizarre anomalies and that nothing was above board and just and honest and fair. Now, if you believe that Trump knowingly deceived in a campaign, knowingly engaged in a campaign to deceive Americans because he truly it, he truly understood that he had lost fair and square, um, then you must be a highly educated, morally superior, almost always apoplectic liberal Democrat who perhaps is quite delusional because there's not for one second, not for a millisecond, did Donald J. Trump ever believe that he was treated fairly uh, against Biden? Okay, you can look at the Democratic Party from Tammany Hall to the Democratic primary in 2016. They don't even have a functioning primary. To all the bizarre anomalies that Donald J. Trump and others, including the FEC chairman. So the reason that I bring this up in relation to the... Um, the reason I bring this up in relation to the indictment is that you're going to have to prove that Donald Trump and an FEC chairman, not just Trump, a person who knows more about 2020 and 2016 and every four years than most Americans and than anyone at the Washington Post or New York, Trey Trainer, a former FEC chairman who echoed Trump's claims, and of course there's a fact check, and a fact check uh, from uh, USA Today, fact check from the Washington Post and others, stating that, well, you know, he he's not right. We spoke to somebody, and somebody said that he was wrong, okay? Or, you know, we spoke to the people, and uh, apparently this former FEC chairman doesn't know what he's talking about, okay? Um... Number one, you have experts that side with Trump. Here's one example. He was cleared, by the way, of any ethics violations. So if the rebuttal is, oh, well, everyone who agrees with Trump is indicted. <laughs> um, yeah, he's been cleared of any violations. He, he's a former FEC chairman. Probably the, re the reason he was cleared... <laughs> is because they don't want him testifying. <laughs> because they don't want to indict a former FEC chairman because the man knows the ins and outs of what actually took place. You don't want to go ahead and indict somebody who could make you look bad and stupid in court. So, Trey Trainer agreed with Trump, in addition to like Giuliani and everybody else.
but they are, you have people indicted, but you have other people who were not indicted. There are mathematicians, there are other experts who agreed that what took place two years ago was uh, either not uh, likely, uh, possibly um, filled with bizarre anomalies, all of these things. So the reason that Trump and possibly the FEC commissioner, former FEC commissioner, and uh, um, the majority of Republican voters believe that things took place in 2020 that should never have taken place and that the results were not fair is that you have mashed potato brains who doesn't even campaign. The man is slurring his speech. Mashed potato brains, when he speaks, slurs his speech, has to be directed like uh, one of those wind-up toys, and it's not lucid, nor is he, you know, if, let's put it this way, if Biden and Fetterman were caught on a hot mic, you'd have a better chance deciphering whale sounds, okay? Democrats will vote for anyone or anything. You could replace Fetterman with a fern or a house cat. Same thing with mashed potato brains, our president. So it's not like, you know, it's not like Democrats need somebody who is eloquent and can actually communicate effectively, they don't really care. Just put a human body, and they'll say, okay, better than the Republican. So it's not like when when the entire world sees our president, everyone, even all of our adversaries, including every American, including every Democrat, they're all, we're all thinking around the planet the same exact thing. It's just that Democrats are saying, okay, well, we have power now. So we like this man. All right. So when that type of human being who can't even form a sentence without some kind of bizarre uh, statement or communicating some, something, you know, outlandish or slurring speech, when that type of human being ends up defeating the incumbent Donald Trump, um, when Trump is up in like six or seven states and suddenly he's, he, he, he lost the next day and then there are issues that are unexplained, simply, okay, if you have a state official that, that performs either a recount or asks another state official about a very bizarre anomaly and they say that's totally fine and Giuliani's wrong, that is not debunking anything. When the Washington Post or the New York Times or... MSNBC or CNN or state officials debunk Trump or Giuliani, they oftentimes do so by asking another state official who would, um, who would suffer greatly from any impropriety being found. So, of course, the state official is going to say, yeah, you know, they just don't know how things are done. This FEC commissioner knows exactly how things are done every four years. So, going back to the actual, um, the actual, he's not going, if he gets convicted, it will be overturned by the Supreme Court because you cannot prove that Trump knowingly committed uh, any dishonesty. These are all opinionated, subjective statements. If you truly believe that Democrats didn't engage in any um, dishonorable behavior, then you don't know the history of the Democratic Party. You don't know the history of 2016 and Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigning in disgrace. That's all they do. Um, President Obama's campaign uh, vehemently denied um, allegations by Clinton's campaign and made allegations that they were uh, trying to railroad him. And by the way, the myth that he wasn't born in the United States was not started by Donald J. Trump. It was started by Hillary Clinton and her campaign, and that's a fact. And there's there are numerous New York Times articles from 2008, and there's in a Guardian article that talks about how indignant President Obama's campaign was when Hillary Clinton accused him of not being born in the U.S. Okay, so, or her campaign, I should say. Okay, so... Hit subscribe to this channel right now.
All This is just one indictment. All of the indictments are like this. They're broad and vague, ambiguous, and they will all be overturned. Any conviction will be overturned. Hit subscribe right 